Alright, welcome back to episode of WWE 2K19 Universe Mode. I'm of course Tomic in the Bad Wrestling Channel, and we enter episode 98, the episode following all the major events of our Survivor Series pay-per-view. If you haven't seen that pay-per-view, I highly recommend you do before coming back here and clicking on this episode as Mickey James makes her way to the ring alongside Alexa Bliss because she is set to battle in a bit of a number one contenders-ish matchup. So for instance, the winner of this matchup will go on to fight in a triple threat in a few weeks time uh, to become number one contender or to see who will become number one contender for the Raw Women's Championship. Asuka, of course, at the Survivor Series pay review, losing her title. And now Nia Jax is demanding for a new challenger. General Manager King Booker deciding, you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to make a triple threat match. In that triple threat match, we're going to see who is going to be worthy of fighting Nia Jax. And it seems as though one of the three people in that matchup is going to be either... Mickey James, or this one right here, making our way to the ring, Dakota Kai. However, I do want to turn your attention to something happening later on tonight, following this matchup between Dakota Kai and Mickey James. We're going to be hearing from that man, Adam Cole, the leader of the Undisputed Era, after their big win over the Shield at Survivor Series, and what was surely an absolutely intense battle between the two factions. Adam Cole getting the final victory over the Shield, surprising member Kurt Angle in the finale, and then attacking him after the matchup. An unneeded attack, in my opinion. However, let's get into it. The bell has rung. It's Mickey James. It's Dakota Kai. And the two lock horns immediately. Alexa Bliss in the corner of Mickey James now. Oh, but a slap to the face. To Dakota Kai there, and Mickey James immediately out of the gate with an elbow. And Dakota Kai is still up, however. Dakota Kai is trying to fight back, trying to show her toughness. But gets slammed down there with a neckbreaker by Mickey James. Dakota Kai making her Raw debut a few weeks ago, losing to our now former undefeated Raw Women's Champion, Asuka. But you know what? She looked pretty impressive in that match, in my opinion. She looked very, very impressive in that match against Asuka. Okay, almost pushing her to her very limits before Nia Jax came out saying, you know what, I want a shot at the Raw Women's title, which she, of course, eventually won as Mickey James splashing down on the Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai here tonight. Oh, and a kick right to the head there. I can, I can already hear her ears ringing from here. As Dakota Kai on the offensive in this matchup. Grabbing her, going for a suplex perhaps. Connecting. Alexa Bliss watching on. A good friend of Mickey James as those two have become inseparable. Since WrestleMania. As now the punches to the face. The big Luthez press. The right hands to Dakota Kai. And this crowd absolutely love Dakota Kai. And her very unique set of offense. But Mickey James not allowing her to do any of it. Showing off a little bit, perhaps even a little bit too much. As, however, Dakota Kai takes her down with an arm drag. And now, oh, look at this. Now the unique strikes, as I was mentioning before. The kicks, the elbows, ducks underneath. Grabbing her. Oh, look at this. Tripping her up. And the roundhouse kick connecting to the chest. And Dakota Kai is now all fired up here. One of these two women will be put into a triple threat match in a few weeks' time to determine who will be the number one contender for Nia Jax's Raw Women's Champion. And it looks like Dakota Kai beating the hell out of Mickey James. Perhaps she could win this matchup, and I can only imagine what it will do for her career if she did. However, I can also say the same thing for Mickey James. Okay, Ever since returning to Monday Night Raw alongside Alexa Bliss, she hasn't been too successful, and of course neither has... Alexa Bliss. So I bet Mickey James... Oh, look at that! Goes for the kick there. Misses into a clothesline. And now the cover. One. No, only a one count there. 
Mickey James wants to prove that she has still got it. Dakota Kai wants to prove that she has something. Which I definitely believe she does as now charges up into the kick there. Big boot connects. And Dakota Kai, middle of the ring on, on Mickey James. One, no, only a one count there. This crowd watching on. Dakota Kai looking at her hair, thinking, what the hell is she going to do? The crowd booing Mickey James with all of their might. However, they might boo this here if she gets the pin. One, two, no, only a one count there. The match continues on, goes, went for a roll-up victory, did not get the three count. As Dakota Kai, now trapped in a hold here by Mickey James, our main event to come is going to be Rey Mysterio versus WWE Champion Tommaso Ciampa, following an intense triple threat match at Survivor Series. As James grabbing her here, kicks her in the stomach. A brutal kick right to the abdomen. And now, oh, hits her there with that big kick to the face. And Mickey James staring at her here. James perhaps looking to end this fight right now. Kicks her in the stomach. Launches herself up. DDT connects. The top of the head landing into the mat. Here on Monday Night Raw. Pulls her to the middle of the ring or pulls her away from the ropes. At least one, two. No, and Dakota Kai somehow, someway getting the shoulder up. And Mickey James almost bewildered at Dakota Kai from kicking out of her huge DDT. Fish the finishing maneuver is now launching her up face first. Goes Dakota Kai into the mat. And James absolutely devastatingly pissed off at Dakota Kai for even thinking that she can kick out of her finishing maneuver. As now, oh, look at this. Oh my god. Athletic Mickey James here tonight. The athletic Mickey James slamming her down with a Hunakan Rana off the top turnbuckle. And Dakota Kai, however, takes down Mickey here. And Dakota Kai picking up Mickey James, kicks her. And then, oh, and the roundhouse kick connects. The crowd on their feet in support for Dakota Kai. Okay, the newly acquired for Monday Night Raw, Dakota Kai. Oh, and now a big power bomb. However, Dakota Kai, even in NXT, did not have much success at all. She was only on TV. I do believe she was only on an episode once. However, King Booker saw something in her. As now, kicks her right in the face. Once again, that boot connecting, and Dakota Kai is all fired up. Picking up Mickey James here. Kicks her in the stomach, reversed. Turns her around. Oh, and the kick connecting again. Middle of the ring could be over here, but Dakota Kai kicks out. I don't know if that was based on instinct or otherwise, but Dakota Kai... Having some fight in her is now... Mickey James just stomping down on Dakota Kai, not waiting for her to get up. And this could be it here. Kicks her in the stomach. Here we go. And the DDT connects, launching herself. And now the cover, but the rope break. Saving Mickey James for this matchup. And now just kicks the top of the spine of Dakota Kai. Pulls her to the middle of the ring. One. Two. No, and a kick out there. And Dakota Kai just barely getting the shoulder up. The rope break saving her, giving her enough time to heal to get the two count. And Mickey James is pissed off over Dakota Kai, trying to lower her down. Okay, perhaps making her calm down as a kick to the face. And oh, and a rough kick to the side there. Looking to perhaps connect with the head. But all the punishment went to the stomach there. However, Dakota Kai kicks her in the stomach. And oh, chiropractor! The Kota Kai, the cover right in front of Mickey James. Or right in front of Alexa Bliss. Two. No, and a kick out there. Right in front of Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss saying, cheer on Mickey James. Get her back to a fighting position. But it looks like the crowd not responding to that. But Mickey James, however, only needs the support of Alexa Bliss. That one person support might save Mickey James here tonight. Because now, Dakota Kai looks rocked after that big elbow. 
And now grabbing her. You know, another DDT there. Not quite the same impact. But nonetheless, DDT, top of the head. One, two. No, and a kick out there. And the match continues. Not quite the same impact as our usual DDT. Finishing maneuver. Ducked underneath, however. Ducked underneath into a clothesline once again. And Dakota Kai grabbing her. Throwing her into the corner. And now the kicks. And now the combination again by Dakota Kai. The strikes, the lefts, or not the lefts and rights, but the rights, the, the palms and fists. As Dakota Kai waits for her to get up here, kicks her in the stomach. And now once again. Oh, and it connects there. Beautiful. The chiropractor. Oh, but another rope break. The rope break that saved Dakota Kai might have just saved Mickey James. As Dakota Kai, you just saw scream in anger. But Mickey James doesn't care about her anger. She just cares about a victory. As now the kick to the stomach. And oh, misses. Misses that there. And Dakota Kai hits her, however, with the elbow. Once again, kicks her in the stomach. And now grabbing her into another elbow. The Rose are to the outside now on Monday Night Raw. And Dakota Kai goes to the outside. Looks to be joining Mickey James with the kicks right to the chin there. But Mickey James catching her as she lands. Russian leg sweep. Grinding against the 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 to the Titan Tron there. On the ring apron. Does the crowd once again booing her here? However, ducks underneath into another clothesline. Dakota Kai picking up Mickey James. Those are into the ring. The crowd on their feet in support of Dakota Kai here in our opening matchup. James gets thrown into the corner. Looking at her now. And once again, the chops and the punches over and over and over again. And Mickey James just plops down onto the mat. And Dakota Kai, what in the hell? What has she got in mind here? Picking her up backwards, DDT connecting. Here on Monday Night Raw. What an opening matchup we are witnessing here. As Dakota Kai kicks her in the stomach. And again the chiropractor. And Dakota Kai seemingly learning from her mistakes. Making sure she can't reach the ropes in the cover. One. Two. Three. And Dakota Kai. Your victor here tonight. Defeating Mickey James. Mickey James put up an absolute fight. These two had an absolute click for our opening contest. However, Dakota Kai goes to join. Well, we're not even too sure who she'll join. We'll see in the coming weeks who Dakota Kai will be fighting in a number one contenders match for the Raw Women's title. But what we do know is Dakota Kai. Looking for championship success. Step one of that goal completed as we move on to Adam Cole talking to the WWE Universe. Ladies and gentlemen, there you see the Undisputed Era's leader, Adam Cole, in the ring. He's got a microphone. What does he have to say? Last night at Survivor Series, you watched as the Undisputed Era laid waste to the Shield. We've shown you all what the four of us already knew. The Undisputed Era runs WWE. Not just Monday Night Raw, but we run every level of the hierarchy that is this company. From developmental to the grand stage of the main roster, this is our yard. Last night we proved why we are the most dangerous faction in the history of this sport. When you think of the names Kyle O'Reilly, Roderick Strong, Bobby Fish, and Adam Cole, baby, you should think success and dominance. So, we already have shown that dominance with a win over the Shield. But we want more than that. The Undisputed Era have already gained the NXT Tag Team titles. Kyle and Riley and Bobby Fish survived the onslaught that is the War Games match to earn those beautiful championships. But we want more. That's why the Undisputed Era are officially laying out a challenge. We want the World Tag Team Championships. 
We want the Wyatt family. Bray Wyatt, Eric Rowan, Luke Harper, or Jeff Hardy. We don't care which combination you choose to defend your tag team titles against us. But let it be known that at the Fastlane pay-per-view, those titles are going home with us. Now that's undisputed. Well, it seems as though Adam Cole of the Undisputed Era, the Undisputed Era have laid out a challenge to the World Tag Team Champions. Very interesting indeed. We could see Adam Cole just hold all the tag titles in our universe mode. Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly, they are your NXT Tag Team Champions. They won the War Games match, and now they could win the World Tag Team Championships from the Wyatt family. Bray Wyatt, Eric Rowan, Luke Harper, or Jeff Hardy. The four members that make up SmackDown's absolutely unrelenting, savage faction. However, we move on. It's our main event. Not featuring any of the World Tag Team Champions. No. We are featuring the WWE Champion. Rey Mysterio in the ring. And the champion himself, Tommaso Ciampa, makes his way to the ring. At the Survivor Series pay-per-view, he defeated Shinsuke Nakamura and Johnny Gargano to regain that title, pinning Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura specifically, not the man he turned on at WrestleMania, Johnny Gargano, no. He pinned Shinsuke Nakamura with the DIY knee, the same knee that he would use in DIY's combination finisher to show absolute disrespect. However, that's the past, and now we look forward to the future as Rey Mysterio looking to perhaps earn himself a potential shot at the WWE title by defeating Tommaso Ciampa. Will he be able to do so? I'm not too sure. Oh my god. Oh my god. Rey Mysterio showing off some strength here against our WWE champion. Grabbing him, kicks him in the stomach, however, Tommaso Ciampa does. Ciampa, our WWE champion, the weasel, as we have... Uh, uh, named him. One of his many nicknames. I think Johnny Gargano would just like to call him a... Pretty much as an asshole at this point. It looks like those asshole tendencies definitely showing off with the middle fingers. And speaking of Johnny Gargano, there he is! Johnny Gargano making his way to the ring. One of the three members in the triple threat from last night's a uh, WWE title match, and Rey Mysterio standing behind him, and oh, goes for a roll, referee, referee, one, two, no, the match continues on, Johnny Gargano does not cost Tommaso Ciampa this matchup quite yet, Gargano standing there, looks like he's in support of Rey Mysterio, as now face first goes Ciampa, and Mysterio using this opportunity as an advantage here, oh no, d misses the double axe handle, however, drops him down, and Gargano watching on the outside, Rey Mysterio all fired up, the crowd as well as an elbow to the face of Rey. And Tommaso Ciampa now standing, Rey Mysterio. Oh, and well, Johnny Gargano might be distracting Tommaso Ciampa a bit. I don't think Tommaso Ciampa knows exactly where he is. He saw Johnny Gargano and all he sees is red, perhaps. At least that's what Johnny Gargano sees. And, and, and Tommaso Ciampa missing a huge dive, and it looks like that has turned the tide in this matchup. The crowd watching on as Rey Mysterio with the elbow in the corner to Tommaso Ciampa. Is now, oh, looking to end this matchup early. Perhaps has him here. 619 connects on the WWE Champion. He's already probably so hurt from the, from the intense... A uh, triple threat matchup last night, but it looks like Rey Mysterio doesn't care. Dragon Rana, West Coast Pop connects from the top rope. One, two, three, and Rey Mysterio wins. Johnny Gargano might have just helped cost Tommaso Ciampa the matchup. And Rey Mysterio immediately exiting the ring. And Johnny Gargano has also seemed to have left the arena. No, Tommaso Ciampa, what the hell? Obviously furious punching the referee. I don't know if that was necessary at all. But in any case, Tommaso Ciampa, our WWE Champion, unneeded attack on our referee, our official. 
But we move on, ladies and gentlemen, to the next episode of our Universe Mode. As that's going to have to be the end of this one here on our WWE 2K19 Universe Mode. If you guys like the please let me know by hitting the like button down below. Comment anything you want to comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. But if you have, why not hit the bell to be notified of everything we do here on the Bad Wrestling channel. I am, of course, Dominic. And have a good day from Bad Wrestling. Bye-bye. Yo.